And here at home, members of South Florida's Ukrainian community, along with supporters, gather to honor the victims of the war, primarily the children killed in the fighting. Our team coverage continues now with CBS 4's Tr Trish Christakis in Cooper City, where a silent protest was held. When children are dying, that's a, the, they show the cruelty of that war because children doesn't deserve to die. Around 200 people and young children lit candles and said prayers Saturday night to honor the lives lost in Ukraine. The official data suggests that uh, more than 150 kids died and around 200 kids wounded. Florida for Ukraine and St. Nicholas Ukrainian Orthodox Church sold flags, shirts, bracelets and more. The money made will go directly to the kids in need after the attack at the theater in Mariupol. Right now, the official data suggests that 300 people died there. And uh, you can, you, I can't even imagine what happened, what panic, what, is, what, what, what a disaster that, that is. Lamesh is expecting to raise between five and $10,000 to send to Ukrainian foundations. To transfer a, a severely wounded kid, like who's literally dying from Kiev uh, of, uh, to Rome, for instance, it costs $6,000 to transport such a kid. They're hoping money raised at this event can help fund one of those trips. Lamesh came to America in 2016 and says her family, friends, and students are still there. It's devastating. It's hard. It's, 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 it's just indescribable what I feel. A very emotional evening Saturday. They're hoping events like this bring more political attention and donations for families and injured children. Reporting in Cooper City, Trish Kristegas, CBS News this morning.